The only thing it's missing is fish. As you can tell, there's no fish. You cannot see any fish. There we go. All right, that is perfect. Yo, he's so mad. We actually got something. Oh my God, what is that? A little box of Skittles we got. What is up, BFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today, we're on a mission, guys. As you can tell, I'm staying right in front of our three-layered fountain pond. And yes, I still haven't fixed the leak yet. It's been a little difficult. I've tried a few things, and it just keeps leaking. So I don't know. We're going to figure it out soon. But our other two layers are ready to go, and they are filled with water, doing good. But the only thing it's missing is fish. As you can tell, there is no fish. You cannot see any fish. We do have one Dalmatian molly that we caught and put in here. I think they're hiding inside the middle. But yeah, it looks so bland and stale and boring there's like nothing in it so today we're gonna go back down to the little canal where we caught that molly and i've caught little platies and uh i think they're called tequila sunrise things i don't know just really cool little tiny colorful fish there is a lot here in the wild in south florida and that surprises a lot of people but usually the ones you see like mollies and platies they're kind of like bland colored not all of them like show their like true colors like the orange and red yellow all that stuff but certain spots like the canal down the street from my house does have the colorful orange ones and red ones and all that which is really cool so you know sometimes they're harder to find we're gonna go down there today and uh, walk down and place our fish trap we're gonna head over there now with our new blue fish trap we got some cat food in there as bait and uh, we're gonna try and find these fish. We're gonna try and catch a lot of them, bring it back, put them into the fountain pond because I wanna start breeding these fish. Cause I think that's so cool how, you know, we can catch those fish in the wild and then breed them here. And then we never have to buy them again. And we have so many. Let's head down there with our fish trap, place it, try to find these fish guys. Turtle. Oh, oh, turtle, two turtles. Well, guys, we made it to the canal. We're right here. And uh, now we got to make our decision. Do we go left or do we go right? Last time we went left and we caught a bunch. The one time we went left, we caught a bunch of those, uh, what are they called? Tequila sunrise little things. I don't know. They're really pretty. I would love to catch more of those, but I don't know. There's this one thing I want to show you guys down on the right side. It's a very, very, very far walk, but the one thing I've learned about these fish is they love hiding in these like plants. Whenever I see these colorful fish, um, I see them for a split second and and then they just dart off into there, which, you know, makes sense. You know, that's how they survive. They just hide in all this stuff. All the way down at the end of this creek, it gets really, really shallow and there's just tons of plants. Well guys, I made it to the spot that I wanted to show you and it doesn't look like it did last week. Check this out. Oh my God. Where am I going to put the fish trap, bro? There's too many weeds. I think I found the spot. We're going to put the fish trap. We got this little pipe right here and uh, over there it's really shallow, lots of weeds. And over there it's lots of shallow with really weeds. And this is kind of like, uh, it merges and gets a little bit deeper. So, and of course there's a pipe and you know, we love pipes with our fish traps. I think this is the perfect spot. There it goes. Get down there. There we go. All right, that is perfect. Fish trap is set guys, check it out. We got the cat food there already just placing the fish trap in right now i can already tell a difference in the water like all the oil just sped around so all the fish are gonna smell it come to the fish trap and then swim on in it is midday right now as you can tell by that freaking bright sun we're gonna wait a couple hours for this one i want to catch a lot this time and i want to load that fountain up with a lot of fish so go down there and smash the like button wish us luck hopefully we get something cool guys see you in two hours all right guys it is time to check our fish trap check it out when i was down there at the canal placing the fish trap i saw a bunch of these weeds so i picked some up, not weeds plants and i picked some up put it into the fountain pond it looks so much better the fish are gonna love that and uh yeah let's go oh my god uh excuse me sir <laughs> there's a freaking snapping turtle yo were you thinking about were you thinking about going to, into the koi pond because that's not a good idea oh my god okay you need to go the other way yo he's so mad dude you gotta go the other way all right here's the deal i'm gonna go check the fish trap and if you're still here, then we're gonna have a problem, okay? All right, let's go. Let's go check the fish trap. Let's hope. Let's hope we get something this time because I tried this video yesterday. Obviously, I didn't post it because I didn't catch anything. I caught like two mosquito fish. That was it. Then again, it was like a cloudy, rainy day, so I think the fish were just like hiding. They weren't out. But today is nice and bright and sunny. The fish are out. Snapping turtles are out. Let's freaking do it. There we go. Set that right there. All right, let's try and do this one-handed. I don't see. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, yes. I got quiet there because I thought I didn't see anything at first. I didn't think we got anything. I was like, okay, video over. We actually got something. Oh, my God, what is that? Oh, okay, we got to bring it up here. Oh, my God, yes. 
We got something cool, guys. All right, let's open it up. Yo, we got like, we got like a white fish or something. Look at this. I think that's a molly or a platy. I think that's a platy. We got one little platy right there. We got, hold on, what is this? We got, same thing, I think. I don't know much about mollies and platies. I don't know if these are like, I don't know. Oh, we got a little shrimp. <laughs> Look at that. We got a little shrimp. Um, it's kind of hard to tell which are fish because it looks like the cat food. Oh, there we go. Another platy. That's a cool one. Black fins. See, I don't know if the ones with black fins are different than the other ones. I don't know. I just know that those are probably platies. Oh, here's another one. It kind of looks like the tequila sun. Nah, that's, that's a, I think it's a, is that a guppy? I don't know what that is. That looks different than the other ones. Check this guy out though. This guy's like all black, black and orange. That's pretty cool. And this is what I'm really excited about. Look at this thing. What the heck is that? What is that? That's got, is that like a hybrid of something? It looks like a platy a little bit. Oh, calm down. That looks like a platy sort of, but I don't know. It's like, it's like thicker and it's white. Another one. Is that the same thing? Dude, this is so sick. I love these fish. They're all like so unique. What is this? What the heck is that? We've caught that before. I still don't know what that is. That's pretty cool. We'll put him in the bucket. Oh, we got one more. We got a straggler. That guy is super red. That's a nice little pla I think we only caught platies. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Check that out, dude. Yo, look at the shrimp. <laughs> the shrimp's chilling. Wait, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven colorful fish and then that one thing. I don't know what that is. Seven though, dude, that's sick. See, this is the thing. I don't know if these guys are all the same species or what. I don't know if they can breed together or or what's going on, but they're really cool. And uh, to catch them in the wild, it's even cooler. But look at this. I think we found like, this is way more than I was expecting. This is way more than we usually catch, which is sick. This might be the new spot. We might've just got lucky, ran into a big school of them. Pretty sure these fish like school up or something like that. They're like community fish, you know? So they kind of like just hang around each other, I think. But that is super cool. We're gonna bring these guys back to the fountain. Oh, there's one right there. No, get back here. No. I don't know if you guys saw that. There was, there was one literally on the surface of the water and he just scurried into the pipe. Check it guys, look at that. Little box of Skittles we got. And then we got this freaking thing. I don't know if we should keep this. He's kind of cool. I don't know if this guy is like an aquarium fish or what. But, ah, he looks pretty cool. I guess we'll keep him. Why not? Let's try not to throw these guys back in the water, showing them off. Look at that. Big old bright platy. I think it's a platy. Guys, I apologize if I'm getting the names wrong, if these aren't platies, but I'm pretty sure they are. I'm not 100% on what these guys exactly are. They do look like platies in some form, but they look a little different, so... I don't know, we got two of the weird things and then a bunch of a bunch of the other ones. I don't know. All right guys, big success with the fish trap. We're gonna head back to the fountain pond, load them up in there. If you guys want me to come back like tomorrow or just keep doing this, let me know. We'll do like a part two and just keep catching them. I mean, they're loaded in here. It's just like the African cichlids at the other canal. They're just everywhere. This is super cool. Dude, I could like sell these things. These, these go for like five bucks each, I think. I think these things go for like five bucks each at like fish stores or something, like around that area. So we got like five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Dude, we got like, we got like 40 bucks worth of fish right here. That's actually crazy to think about. I could literally just like come down here and start catching them and selling them or whatever. Okay, we made it back to the house and I don't see the snapping turtle and I'm a little bit worried. He better not have gone into my koi pond. Dude, I swear to God, I don't see him. <laughs> Um, I don't see him, but uh, yeah, here we go. We got our new little fish. Let's try to scoop them all up. Come on, come on, guys. Yep, there you go. <laughs> go, oh, there we go. Wow, we actually got all of them in one net. That never happens. We're gonna dump these guys in. There they go. There you go, guys. There they are. Oh, dude, they look so freaking good in there. 
What do you think, boo-boo? What do you think? She loves it. Oh, dude, they look so good in there. The plants really make it look so much better. I have a feeling they're gonna breed, which will be really cool. There goes that cool one. Dude, let's go. Now, obviously, they all pretty much disappeared and you gotta like actually go, oh, there they are. They're, they are in a school. Well, they're all like all together, I knew it. So when I caught all of them in the wild there, they were probably just all up in a school and they saw the cat food and they're like, oh, let's all go in. Like I said, you really, we really need a lot more for it to, to look cool. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep going back every single day until we get enough. And uh, yeah, we'll have our own little population of mollies and platies. We'll just have an endless, endless cycle of them when they start breeding. There's, there's the cool one right there. There's another one. Just to let you guys know, I literally read every single comment that you guys send me, every direct message. And a lot of you guys have been expressing recently how jealous you are of me and how, you know, I can go out and catch these fish. And a lot of you guys don't live in South Florida, so you can't just go out and catch these really cool fish in the wild. So that's part of why I love making these videos is because I can share it with you guys who can experience it on their own. Yeah, South Florida is just so cool with all the fish that are now in the waterway since people release them. But uh, yeah, guys, if you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.